Yo, I'm back. You know. You read the title. You know why you here? You here because you either assume my fish tank light system will catch on fire. Or you here because you assume that you're gonna see the world's best disco ball effect. Oh no. Maybe you're here to See if all the LEDs will stay in there for a month or so. Will it get two months with all the LEDs stay in there? No way, he can't do that. That's crap. That thing's cheap. It's cheap! It can't be good. Can't be good at all. Where was it made? China? Oh, no, no. No, no, China can't be good. I mean, they make all your cell phones and shit. As you troll the world, complaining about how they can't make LED lights. It's just weird. It's like a vegan with leather shoes. Anyway, let's go. This is uh, my cheap eBay setup. These lights came from eBay, except for this one on the top. It is a overpriced Marine Land. You have all seen it. And your local store ain't gonna say no name for the store, but. You know the product. And this is a another strip that I have. It's like 24 inches. Kind of reminds me of like a Reefright LED. It's a uh, 51 watts. The two long black boxes. I'm still calling them black boxes. It's not a box. It's a rectangle. But it has a similar appeal. It's uh, rated at 324 watts. I do not like the white channel's color spectrum at all. I know some of it's beneficial, but at full power, I do not like it. Uh, the lights are pretty simple to use. As you can see, it's just, you know, the blue on and off, the white on and off. And if you hold the button down, it would ramp up the power. So I'm gonna do that now on the one channel that is not on full power. Not, not on full power. Now my blues, they're on full power. And what the spectrum might look like for you will be different because I have these cheap diffuser in front of it to help blend the light a little more. But anyway, here we go. So, and that's just by me holding it down. And that's one. I have the whites on one. Uh, I know you guys are like, that is nothing, but if I turn every light off except for my white channel, you'll be able to see the light in the tank, which is a very weird spectrum because when you turn lights down, they're not always the color that they were before. So the white, cool white becomes a weird color and the amber becomes brown. It's, it's crazy. So, And uh, the Marine Land has a real white light. I mean, it's pretty white. The lenses on Marine Land are, are better. Each LED has a individual lens as opposed to these. They do have each individual lenses. I'm gonna pull it up on a on the screen. I'll probably get my tablet and show you the exact one I'm talking about. You've all seen it. It's literally on the first page of eBay. And they come in all sizes and shapes, and they even have ones that are square panels. I don't know how many channels they have. This is the only one of that type they have that I've tried. And it's been out for a while. And I figured I'd let, give it a go. It's, it's, it's pretty bright. It, it probably doesn't look any brighter than it did when I was, when I had one. You know, that's how cameras work, guys. There's a certain amount of sound you can't get to go through a microphone and a camera on a, just a regular cell phone and there's a certain amount of light, you know, it, it knows that something's bright and it'll dim it back. You know, I could go shine this in the sun and it might react the same way and you know my tank in the sun and nowhere close to the same spectrum or pop. But it is definitely way brighter than before. I mean, it's like a wall of LEDs above my tank. Uh, the corals aren't burnt. I feel like the corals got a little bleached the first time they met my system because I'm a dummy and I never really deal, dealt with having too much power. They're just, 
that's not necessarily a thing I've ever dealt with. So when I put them in the tank, my frag rack was right there and very close to the top surface. It has a lot of current going because it, you know, the inlet nozzle points right towards it. So I put it there and they didn't like it the first, I'm gonna say first week, but after the first week they got over it. And they're doing good, they're growing. They're bigger than they were when I bought them. I was a sliver. Just a little sliver glued to a frag and it's gotten thicker for sure. Oh, firefish are That's rare. He's, I know, firefish are dark fish and they'll show you that. That's why I have that screen. I've lost a fish before and it was a firefish and I think a dotty back. The dotty back I had was Dottie Box is way meaner than I thought. That thing wouldn't come out ever. The Dottie Box back would come out, eat a little food, peck the firefish. <laughs> That's all he did. He'd come out, he'd eat a little food, woo! He gone. He saw the tank. He's like, yeah, I'm away class. I'm gone. But uh, he, used, he would peck the firefish, and I got a Dottie back, and then the firefish jumped out of the tank like a week later. And it jumped out through that little gap. So that's screen in there now to stop fishermen from being able to get out and I put a little ramp there so if they hop up there, hopefully gravity will put them on back right in the tank. And my lid is usually closed, I'll go ahead and, uh, well, yeah, I'll close it. But that's what it looks like open all the way up. I can't open it any farther than that unless I do something with my fan. These lights are passive and fairly heavy, <laughs> but uh, Fan, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Honestly. That's just there for caution. Things aren't supposed to get so hot. I didn't realize how good the product would be or not. So I bought the fan the same day I bought the very first one of those. And because it, because it came straight from China and these came from a vendor in America, it took a long time for that fan to get here. And by the time that fan got here, I had already ordered another one of these lights. And um, I, the thought of ordering another one has crossed my line. I wish I could just get with the vendor and be like, hey man, just come and talk to me because if you change a couple of those bulbs, this light would be like so much better. It'd be such a contender. You wouldn't have, it, it is very possible to change the color spectrum to where it's more appealing to the eye. And then you can ramp up the whites more without it looking too odd and strobey. That's what I think, personally. I think they should take all the, I just think they should redesign the whole, how they light up all the LEDs. That's what I think. It needs way more purples and UVs and another color of blue. They need to drop that amber in there. There's like an orange LED and uh, amber LED. They need to drop every LED in there other than the blue and the hyper white the bright white white light that's the only two they need to leave and all the rest of them need to be another blue or another purple it's as simple as that i don't even know how they would do it but that's the simplest way i could explain it to them if they heard this and thought about doing another one because i've had the other one i'm gonna say over two months yeah over two months and I haven't lost the LED. I've had that other silver light. Now you can't find this on. You can't even see it. Ugh. Yeah, this silver light is just a single row of blue LEDs. Uh, they don't sell it like that on eBay anymore. They're instead of blue, it's blue and a white, which is cool if you're just starting and you haven't like got a, a whole set of different lights and you're just like i want a blue white spectrum or something to be the daylight that's a good go on amazon they still have that light too but they have the all blue on amazon i'm about to start ordering things off of amazon just for that reason i am going to add new lights to this frag tank see what i'm saying this frag tank to you probably look bright but it ain't Trust me, this tank is not bright at all. It is kind of a bluish purple. 
It's not nearly that bright. It is literally lit up by LED Christmas lights. One that has all the colors and one that is only blue. But it looks bright. So, you know, cameras are fun. But I'm gonna get a Zeta light for that. I'm gonna add another tank. I have another tank in here. Actually, hold on a second. See, I have another tank in here. I'm gonna do some fresh water stuff, not with goldfish, but I'm gonna do some fresh water stuff. So it's not just the salt water tank. Uh, it's a little cloudy. My light setup is minimal, but this tank hasn't been up long and it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> I put goldfish in it because these are goldfish that I have in like a little tiny pond outside and it's winter. And I didn't want them to freeze and be in suspended animation all winter. I guess that's what happens to them. I'm sure some of you crazy people are like, please do the suspended animation. I want to see your goldfish froze. I'm not going to do that to them. I brought them inside. I'll go back outside later. Then I will make this a planting tank. Hold on a second. All right, I'm back. I like salt water better than fresh water, in case you didn't know. But since I'm back, I would like take the time to say I don't know how I feel about the light setup as far as referring someone. I don't think I could refer someone to this yet. The only reason I don't hate the light is because I already have a light that is so blue that it compensates for the fact that I barely use the white. And then now that I have two of them, that compensates too. So I don't know if I would suggest it. If they change that color spectrum, First off, you should give me one so I can prototype it. I want to be the first to have one. And it would just be better. It would just be better. Because if you could ramp both of them up to 100% and like the color spectrum, then it's a perfect product. I don't know if they knew that people would use them in the way that I'm using them, but I wish they would, uh, you know, change that color spectrum. It looks good now. It looks good to my eye on the tank. It looks real blue on camera. It looks a little white on the tank like the clownfish well you can see he's orange usually when you go too blue things start looking black you know my clown my clowns look orange everything looks as like fire fish has a little red in them you know things this is the white cycle it gets bluer <laughs> believe it or not it gets blue but if they were to add some purples that'd be great and I may I'm not gonna make this video much longer because it's about lights <laughs> It's about lights and my unnecessary fans, but it's not that they're they're warm. They're warm at the most. Yeah, they're not that hot. And that one down here, it's the warmest of them. I've had it for a year. I would recommend that one. The, all these, uh, all of their transformers or whatever you would call it, power box blocks, are down behind the tank to the side. They are not in the unit. That's probably why the unit isn't that hot. I've held the boxes. They're not that hot either. Uh, so I'm gonna say the light is functioning and it's a win for me, but I can't suggest it right now until they get another color spectrum, which I feel like they'll do in the future because this is, this is how technology does. This is old technology. <coughs> we don't, we no longer do. <coughs> LEDs in a row like this. Most people aren't doing LEDs in a row like this. They've gone to what they call a matrix cluster, which is their sexy way of saying, we piled all the LEDs together under a fisheye lens. They don't want to say it like that though. So they call it the matrix cluster, which is a good idea because too much shimmering, hard to uh, diffuse, uh, disco ball and all that is a problem. I'll show you right now. I'll put this on high. And it's like pinkish in this corner. It is just too much. It is, it's too much. So, yeah, the red and the greens can stay, but all those ambers and orange need to be a blue or ultraviolet, and they got themselves a contender. That's how I feel about it because they're only 114 bucks. I repeat, 
only 114 bucks on eBay. And a Ecotech Radeon is like a $375 light. That is a hell of an investment. Hell of an investment. So I feel like there people want to, what is a cheap tank? Well, there are lots of cheap, tank, cheap tanks on the free market. Being able to fill its stock and have coral is hard because of the light. Pumps aren't that expensive now, but the lights are still very expensive in the LED world. And the only reason these aren't too expensive is because it's kind of like old technology. This is old technology and that it is what it is. I did the I did what everyone else did in the bath. I put a diffuser on it, I wrapped it up pretty right, and I called it a day. So I'm gonna let this roll on and you guys stick with me, subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that jazz. Come back so, so you can see the growth rate of my corals. I'll get in there real quick again. You know, those are just some money caps. That's like a five live, five live, GSP, tang, and shrimp still in the spotlight. Crusty money pour, another type of purplish money pour. Under the blue lights, that's purple with pink dots in it. This looks like a white and blue coral. When the lights, white goes out that and then uh, starts closing up, it looks like it's white and pink. And this is like a bright yellow, and purple and orange. So I'm not a king of Zoas. I love Zoas, but there are so many names that people come up with a name, so I never know the names. If you're coming here to get scientific, specific knowledge on names and stuff like that, I'm not the guy for you. I'm the guy to try to help you out and get you in the game without spending too much money and get your tank from looking like crap to crystal clear and how to do it. If you want to know how to do that, just look at my old videos. So like, share, subscribe. I'm out.